Welcome. So today we're going to be asking the question uh, of your spirit guides. What area of your life are you actually trying unconsciously to heart in? Okay, so this should be quite interesting for many of us, uh, just about everyone. At some point or another, I have been and will be trying much too hard uh, in certain areas of our life. And we won't even realize it until well down the road. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, pick three cards here. Okay, so I can see the first one right here. All right, so... For pile one, you have the fates, okay? All right. Pile two has a leg up, all right? And pile three will be all that glitters, okay? All right, now if you'd like to choose with crystals, just let me grab them here, okay? So pile one will have this beautiful multicolored stone. I'm not exactly sure what this is, all right? But it's absolutely gorgeous, just beautiful, okay? All right, so that's pile one. Pile two, we have this beautiful green adventuring heart, okay? And for pile three, we have this, I believe it's a tiger's eye, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right. So, I will leave the video running for a few moments. While you please go ahead and connect to your intuition okay choose whatever pile is calling to you it may be one or it may be several today whatever the case is there will be a message there for you for sure okay so follow that through uh yeah absolutely whatever you're drawn to that will be the pile to pick okay so i will see you in your readings Welcome to those of you who have chosen pile one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, just move this stone off to the side here. Okay, beautiful stone it is. All right, so um, we're gonna draw some tarot for you. Uh, we're gonna look into what area of your life that you're currently unconsciously trying much too hard in, okay? So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and see what your spirit guides have to say, all right? Okay, so. You have the page of pentacles. Or sorry, the page of pentacles. The three of pentacles. Wow, okay. I need to wake up a bit more. Uh, you also have the king of wands, okay? Whoops. You also have the Ace of Cups, okay? The Seven of Swords, all right? The Eight of Pentacles, okay? 
as well as the Knight of Wands. All right. So, pile number one. What area are you currently unconsciously trying much too hard in here? Okay. All right. Bear with me just a moment while I go over your reading here and see what your guides are trying to say exactly. Okay. All right. So, with the Fates card here, okay, it's telling me that an area that you are trying much too hard in right now without even realizing it is, in fact, something that is part of your destiny, okay? So, right off the bat, without looking at anything else, I can tell you that you can relax a bit because it is destined, destined to be on your path, okay? Um, so, you do not need to try so hard. Make a conscious effort to actually not try as hard, okay? Which will probably help you quite a bit here. All right. Yeah, okay, so with, with the uh, Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here, it's, uh, you're crafting away. You're working very, very, very diligently here, um, trying to put in as much effort as you can. And, uh, yeah, with the Knight of Wands uh, and the King of Wands, uh, <laughs> this is an absolute passion of yours. There's, there's no question, okay? It's something meant for you, for sure. But, you know, up here, um, yeah, you're, this unconscious trying much too hard at it, okay? Um, it's actually stealing, all right? Stealing your joy stealing away your peace of mind it's it's mentally s stealing from you essentially okay so yeah make the conscious effort for sure to to uh to not try so hard um in this area and it does look to me um very much so that uh it's something that perhaps you're just now starting to get more into or trying to get more into at least that's how you're feeling about it. It's something that you, you, you just, it's a passion. And it's not something that you've done your entire life, okay? It's, uh, it's relatively new on your path. Um, maybe not brand new, but fairly new, okay? As I said, not something you've done forever. Um, and uh, yeah, with the pentacles um, and the wands, it's letting me know that more or less this is... The area you're trying much too hard in is uh, the area of uh, your career, okay? Whatever that may be, all right? Um, and yeah, you are working very hard. You're trying to master this. You have a great passion for it. It is fated for you. It's in your destiny, okay? So try not to try so hard. I, I know it's, it's an unconscious move here okay but that is what your spirit guides are telling you uh is is the area you are unconsciously um moving full steam ahead here and uh that's a, a fast track to burnout it's also you know a fast track to going from feeling something you absolutely love um to uh something you kind of don't really want to get too involved in for a while um sometimes if you push it too far you can completely destroy um your own passion that way all right so um yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and have a look here at um any advice your guides may wish to um give you okay so let's see here you please have thank you very much Okay, so you have a caring community, all right? So 
participate and belong, enrich your life. Exactly. So instead of working so hard, just step back a bit. Enjoy time with your friends, your family, your co-workers and relax. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, you know, let the light shine here, okay? Don't, uh, mm, yeah, don't go full first. Um, there'll be plenty of time to, to get everything done you want to do. Um, you may have a ton of ideas and, uh, things you'd like to focus on, but take it one step at a time and consciously try to slow it down a bit okay you do not want to reach a burnout point you want to enjoy this journey okay it is destined for you all right so there we have it pile number one thank you very much for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed this video if uh, you've resonated with it please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons as well as the little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos all right also, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear exactly what it is you're working on um, in your career here that, uh, that you're so very much passionate about, that, uh, that you're pushing yourself so hard when you really, really, really don't need to. I'd really love to hear what it is, okay? So I uh, hope to see you again very soon. And again, thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy your week. Bye for now. Welcome to those of you who chose pile two. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and move your stone over here to the side, okay? So, um, yeah, today we're gonna be looking at uh, exactly what area unconsciously are you um, trying much too hard in, okay? We'll, uh, we'll see what your spirit guides have to say. We'll grab you some tarot here and then some advice, all right? And, uh, yeah. Okay, can we please have some information? Okay, I thought these three here. Okay. So you have the King of Pentacles. Okay. The Queen of Cups. All right. As well as Justice. Okay. You can kind of get a bit more information, please, spirits. Thank you. You have the Six of Wands. Okay. The Two of Wands. All right. As well as the Two of Cups. Okay. All right, so just bear with me a moment, please, Pile 2, while I have a look and see exactly what Spirit's wanting to say here. Okay. All right. So... Okay, with the a leg up um, card here, okay, uh, yeah, um, you quite enjoy um, helping others, and um, others helping you. All right, this is, hmm, okay. With the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here, as well as the Two of Cups, okay. Um, yeah, this, the area you're trying much too hard in uh, is very much um, a personal one. It's uh, in a relationship, okay. Um, It feels very much um, like a romantic relationship. So if 
this, uh, if it's not a romantic relationship with you, okay, if you're not currently in one, then this isn't your pile. Um, so yes, please go ahead and, and check one of the other piles or perhaps uh, one of the other readings. This just won't be um, the pile for you today, okay? But yeah, so this is absolutely uh, an area, pile number two, that you're trying too hard in without realizing it okay, is um, in your romantic relationship here, okay, or uh, whether it's one you've been in for a while or it's a new one, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, um, unconsciously, you're trying way too hard here, okay. Um, you would like to, with the leg up and, and the justice here, you want to balance things out um, and, and help out uh, your partner in any way possible, of course. You know, we all do. That's to be, ex um, you know, it, it's understandable. Um, it's to be expected to feel that way uh, for the most part, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, um, you're wanting to be recognized here, okay? unconsciously for what you're doing to try and help this, uh, to help your partner. All right. Um, but yeah, you, you just trying much too hard. You need to, you've got two ways to go here. Okay. You need to make a choice. You can either consciously choose to keep putting in too much effort to the point where, um, you're, partner here may back away from you, okay? It's going to create a bit of an imbalance um, should you choose to pursue consciously doing so. Um, again, remember, you are unconsciously doing this at the moment, but now you are conscious of the fact that, that this is going on, okay? Or you can consciously make the decision to Give a bit of breathing room, so to speak, all right? Um, you know, be the nurturing, loving spouse. And, you know, uh, and, and let them know that you would like some recognition um, with the things you do to try and help them if that is an issue for you, okay? If it truly is a big issue, then bring it to their, their attention. Um, but do so in the proper way. Don't just keep trying so hard and in doing so, pushing them further away, creating that major Im imbalance here, okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, you could have a very, it, this is a very special relationship, okay? Um, there's no question about that. You have the king and the queen and the two of cups. All right, as well as the Six of Wands, Justice. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing for sure, okay? So, um, yeah, unconsciously, that is what you're doing. Um, your spirit guides wanted you to know that this is uh, this is becoming an issue for you, okay? And um, could very well uh, become even more of an issue should you choose to continue down this path now consciously knowing that uh, you're going to end up creating an imbalance here um, by wanting some sort of hidden recognition for things you're doing, okay? So here, uh, let's get you some advice. And um, yeah, okay. All right, so Spirit, can we please have a bit of advice here for our pile number two? Okay, this one. All right. So you have uncorded relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. So yeah, if <sighs> how to put this? Okay. What what your spirit guides are saying by let go now is not literally let go of the relationship, okay? That, unless you choose to do so. Um, but what they're saying is to let go of the tight hold, the imbalance, 
that you're creating by holding on too tight, by wanting that unconscious recognition for things you're helping so much with, okay? Um, I mean, they may very well acknowledge what you've done and have been trying to do, but on the same token, unconsciously, there's something more you're wanting in recognition from that, okay? From perhaps the little things that they're not noticing or maybe even a big thing they have noticed. Who knows? I mean, everybody gets busy and a lot's going on. Um, the world's gone crazy in many ways, right? So, I mean, it's just... Uh, yeah, forgiveness, okay? If you choose to consciously lighten up um, that grip there, and, um, yeah. Take forgiveness into your heart, okay? Uh, you gotta give your partner some space. Um, and if, if there's something very specific they are wanting from you, help-wise, okay, they, they will ask, um, or, you know, if they don't outright ask at first, you can give a little nudge and, you know, see what's going on, perhaps. But don't go out of your way. Um, try very, very hard. Not too forcefully. Um, just constantly hand out the help, okay? Um, because not everybody always wants that help and certainly not at the times um, we may think they want it okay they may decide they want it and they may decide they want it but not for a little bit um, and and that's the right right so um, yeah just ease up a bit and uh, your relationship here will flourish beautifully. It's an absolutely gorgeous relationship you have going on here, okay? So be helpful, but don't uh, don't be overly helpful, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Don't, don't go out of your way to constantly push that help onto them in just searching for some sort of recognition for all the help you are giving, okay? Um, there's got to be balance here, all right? So there you go, Pile 2. Thank you very much for joining me here today. If uh, you've resonated with this, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons as well as the little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos, okay? Also, um, yeah, leave me a comment and uh, let me know um, just uh, <sighs> if you recognize this fact in yourself that now that it's come to light for you if you can actually recognize the fact that uh you have an unconscious desire to be completely acknowledged for every little piece of help you've given to your partner okay i'm just curious to know i mean i myself have done that many many times it's it's human nature right so um there's no shame in that no shame at all and I'd love to hear from you. I love uh, connecting with you all, okay? So there you are. Again, thank you very much for joining me here. And I hope you have a most wonderful week. So I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Welcome to those of you who chose pile number three. Okay, so we're just going to move your stone off to the side here. All right. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to be looking at... Uh, what area of your life exactly you're unconsciously trying just much too hard in, okay? We're going to get some, uh, some tarot here and um, get some information from your spirit guides on that for you, okay? All right, so I think it'll be drawing six tarot for this. We shall see what comes out, okay? All right. So you have here the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The star. Just uh, bear with me a moment here. I've got to, with the new YouTube rules, we've got to just kind of cover up certain things. Just, uh, okay, there we go. Everybody knows that's the star, right? Okay. 
All right, can we please have some more information? Thank you. You also have nice, the sun. Okay, so we'll just move this up now. Okay. All right, you also have, please, can we have some more information? This one? All right. The Nine of Wands, okay. And this one I felt. Come here. Okay. There we go. The Moon, okay. As well as. Oh, you've got two here. Okay. The Two of Cups. And the High Priestess. Okay, so we'll just um, put her here for now. Okay. All right, Pile 3. Bear with me a moment while I go over these cards and see exactly what it is. Your spirit guides want you to realize with this unconscious... Okay, let's see here. Okay, so with all that glitters here, all right, um, yeah, all that glitter is as well as the moon. All right, you're wearing a bit of a mask. Even the high priestess here has a mask on, okay? I don't know if you can see that on, but she, she is. She's wearing a mask here, okay? All right, so, yeah. Um, you're hiding. The question is, what are you hiding from exactly here? Hmm. Interesting. You have the star as well as the sun. So, and again, the high priestess. You're very much connected, okay, with your higher self and your spirit guides and uh, the universe there's no question all right and you are okay i see what's going on here okay so with the star and and the sun showing up as well as the high priestess along with the moon and all that glitters okay you're hiding from your true feelings here, all right? You're trying to hide um, the fact that, I mean, you, you, on the outside, you, you're seeming to be perfectly fine, but realistically here, you are <sighs> carrying a lot Okay, you're not at the Ten of Wands yet, <laughs> but you're mighty close. You're at the Nine, and it's very much a challenge for you. You're down here on your knees, basically. Okay, you're trying to persevere, which is, uh, you know, to an extent fine, but be very careful going down that path alone because, um, you know, pushing too hard and too far. Um, I mean, this that's what this is all about, right? It's an unconscious... Um, an area of your life where you're unconsciously trying too hard and you are you are trying much too hard and what you're trying to uh, uh, trying too hard in is is hiding your <laughs> brightness your true feelings and the fact that you actually care from the world basically here Okay, but why? Why why are you trying to, to, to hide that? Um, hmm, that's interesting. 
Okay, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and draw a bit more tarot here for you, okay? Um, because this is an unconscious um, thing that's happening, okay? Something that you aren't exactly aware of here. So, why exactly is it, Spirit, that... Can we please have some information as to why pile number three is trying to hide their true selves, their true feelings? Please and thank you. So you have the three of wands. The knight of pentacles. The knight of swords as well as aha there it is that's what i thought the three of swords okay so you were very much hurt here you were trying to move ahead okay um, in the 3D, you were very much trying to move ahead. Um, some form of truth came out and you have been terribly hurt. Which explains, I mean, I'm surprised that you don't have the Ten of Wands, but you are sitting in the Nine, okay? Um, and so therefore, you are unconsciously at this point now Trying much too hard to put a mask on to the rest of the world, okay, to show that you are, I mean, you are strong, there's no question about that, okay, uh, but do not allow this great pain here to cloud all. Don't put up the walls. Um, don't put on the mask. Don't pretend that, you know, you're not a caring person. That, uh, you know, you don't have, you don't have so much to give. And so, you, you do, you have so much to give here, okay? You are very bright. I mean, there's brightness all over your reading. Even the, the moon here is, one aspect of it is about hidden things, okay? That which is hidden. But it's also a point of illumination, Okay, absolutely. I mean, the high priestess is glowing. You have the sun, the star is absolutely glowing. All that glitters is glowing. You have all these cards that are blown up, glowing, just beautiful. And you are. That is your soul, okay? And you've been very, very hurt here. And that's understandable, okay? But, again, don't... Uh, I mean, I, it's unconscious. So you weren't perhaps deliberately trying to do this, that's for sure. Um, but now you are conscious of this, okay? So stop trying so hard to keep everybody out. That is the bottom line here, okay? Stop, uh... Deliberately try to stop yourself from putting up any more walls. Deliberately go out of your way and, and attempt to let your brightness come out. Um, let your loving side show. Um, <laughs> let the star that you, that's within you and the sun, let it illuminate everything. Okay? There is a great, great, great connection you have here. All right, um, whether you're currently in it or will be in the near future, okay? This is the Two of Cups, and yeah, uh, that's uh, a massively beautiful connection. And of course, you have the High Priestess, okay? So, even the connection here with your spirit guides, the universe, your, your higher self, okay? Acknowledge that you were very, very hurt 
and it takes time to move through these things. But in the meantime, you were unconsciously putting up walls and putting on a mask and trying to keep the world out um, beyond just, you know, while you're working through things here. Okay, so yeah. Um, try to make the conscious decision not to go that route because that route is nothing but a lot of potential pain and problems for you okay all right so let's uh get a piece of advice for you here from your spirit guides and see what they've got to say about it okay all right spirits can you please have this one okay thank you ah okay so yeah ma I always have a problem saying this word, Mahatma energy. Build your light body, accelerate your ascension. There you go, right there. I mean, look at the beautiful colors here. Yes, absolutely. And the glow, look at the glowing, glowing cups, glowing everything. Exactly. Don't, yeah. Don't let this pain keep you hidden. It's time to take the mask off. Now that you're conscious of it, make the decision to deliberately show the world the real you, okay? The loving, caring, beautiful soul that you are, all right? Don't let a, a lower energy, a lower vibration here destroy, okay? What, what you have to offer. What is really you, all right? So, there you have it. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Uh, yeah, um, if you've resonated with this, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons as well as the little bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos, all right? Uh, yeah, um, also, um, if this has resonated with you, I'd love to hear some comments from you about um, why exactly you, you thought it's, I mean, now that you're conscious of it, um, think about it. And let me know why you thought um, at the time. Why putting up walls and, and a mask would actually benefit you down the road. Um, because really, I don't think there is any long-term massive benefits. Because... If you were to do that, you just cut yourself off in so many ways. Not to mention the rest of the world from your, your beautiful light here. But, uh, yeah. So, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. Okay? And uh, thank you again for joining me. I truly appreciate you all. And uh, appreciate you connecting your energy with mine. Okay? And, uh, yeah. So, I will see you again very soon. And have a wonderful week. Bye for now.